Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Yula and I'm honored to serve as our group leader in this year's Virtual Innovation Competition. I'm Loyan, fellow member of the team. I'm Tia, also a researcher. I'm Ashu and it's great to be a part of the team. And I am Mirza, the video editor and we are from Academy Science Venda. We present to you from waste to paper utilizing rice straw and we are excited to share our solution with you. To begin with, I would like to introduce Ms. Nasuha who has been instrumental in guiding us through this project. Hi everyone, I am Puan Nasuha. I am a teacher advisor for Academy Science Penang Innovation Team with the project title From Waste to Paper Utilizing Rice Straws. Rice is a staple food for 1.67 billion people in South Asia where it provides sustenance for all. However, there exists a challenge within the agricultural industry. Every year, 50% of the rice plant, known as rice straw, is left behind as an agricultural waste. It is a non-edible byproduct that is often overlooked. And in Malaysia, the effective management of rice straws presents a significant challenge. Despite advancements in agricultural science, inadequate harvest machines result in significant leftover rice straws and unfortunately, many farmers resort to burning these residues. This practice carries severe drawbacks, including the loss of soil microhabitats and the release of atmospheric pollutants. The consequences that are detrimental to both the environment and human health call for immediate efforts to develop effective rice straw management techniques. Thus, we propose the use of rice straw in paper making. First of all, the straw is cut into small pieces 2 to 3 cm in length. The straw is strained to remove dirt particles and strained to remove excess water. The rice straw is soaked overnight in washing soda to be softened. The straw is then boiled in a washing soda solution, 10 grams per liter of water for about 2 hours. The straw is strained and separated into small batches. The straw is beaten to pulp using a mallet until it is free of lumps. Once pulverized, it is blended to form an even finer pulp. Okra is boiled with slight water in pot, and the liquid form is strained into a bowl to be used as a formation aid. The blended pulp and the formation aid is put into a paper vat and mixed well. Moving on, the mold fitted in the deco is dipped into the paper vat at a tilted angle straightened out and lifted, allowing the stream to catch a certain amount of the solution. The mold and decal are then tilted back and forth for the excess slurry to be thrown back into the paper bag. The mold and decal are shaken and tilted again back and forth until most of the water falls through the screen. Then, the mold is separated from the decal and laid on pieces of blotting material such as cloth. The sheet is then slowly pressed from the screen onto the blotting material with a paint roller. The mold is removed and the paper is left out to dry. The paper is peeled from the cloth once dry. And to flatten the paper and remove wrinkles, it is stacked on top of one another beneath weights that apply pressure onto the paper. The creation of paper from rice straws diverts them from being incinerated into an essential component of the paper making process. This eco-friendly yet productive alternative to paper opens doors for creating bags, packaging material, eco-friendly cutlery, and more. Rice straws also require fewer chemicals for pulp transformation, reducing the ecological footprint compared to traditional wood-based materials. Incorporation of rice straws into paper making also allows for rice farmers in rural regions to derive additional income and contribute to the socio-economic development of those regions to foster sustainable growth. Ultimately, the integration of rice straws into paper making holds promise for conserving natural resources by simultaneously mitigating climate change and uplifting rural communities worldwide. Commercialization potential for rice straw paper is huge. With the growing demand for eco-friendly products, rice straw paper fits perfectly into this trend. It is after all an attractive option for businesses looking to meet the demands of environmentally conscious consumers. Next. Rice straw paper has the potential to replace commercial paper in a variety of industries such as packaging. This creates a significant opportunity for businesses that can successfully market rice straw paper products 
they carry textures unique to conventional paper. Besides that, rice straw paper is free from harmful chemicals, which makes it suitable for use in food contact application. This is an opportunity for businesses to create eco-friendly food packaging and the potential for cost reduction through new technologies will make it an increasingly viable material. In conclusion, we have presented a groundbreaking solution to the issue of rice straw waste management. And by creating eco-friendly paper from rice straws, we could essentially reduce our carbon footprint as we embark on this journey of transforming waste into paper. Let us remember that every small action has the power to create a profound impact. Together, let us weave a sustainable future, one sheet of rice straw paper at a time. Thank you for joining us on this incredible endeavor. <laughs>